Welcome back to Chris. I'm just heading to the third level, the blue water level. There's five mementos to find, and we'll be also completing one of the five stages of grief challenges. And uh, there's one other challenge that we'll complete along the way. So if you actually go to the menu, you can uh, just click on X and uh, you can see how well you're doing with all of the challenges. We've completed the first three stages for the five stages of grief. Uh, we've got red, green, and blue, and we've completed a few other challenges over there to the right. So we should complete at least a couple more uh, before we finish this level. So for now, I'm just going to make my way through this dark underground cave. And I can't swim yet, I can only float to the surface, but I will be getting that ability pretty soon. Uh, some of the water here is upside down as well, so <laughs> it's a fairly unique feature, and we'll be taking advantage of that a little bit later to pick up some of the uh, mementos. Now I do need to drop down to the bottom of this water, but I can't swim down at the moment, so instead I'm going to drop like a rock all the way through. This is the giant central tree, and we'll be coming back here to exit the level. For now, I'm just going to head all the way across. First memento is not too far away. One of these mushrooms is a little bit different than the rest, and that's this one over here. You see little red sparkles. So let's smash on this, release the birds, and I'm just going to fly up here into the water, into the upside down water. Float to the top, and the first memento for this level is just over here. Okay, so to get through this puzzle, just slam the first one down on the left, then the one on the right. That should take you to the bottom. Okay, so this part is a little bit tricky. You need to veer off to the left, uh, slam down and quickly veer to the right, and you should just have enough time to make it across to the right side of this water. Slam down a couple of times and we're gonna make it into the crystal caverns here. So I do need a couple of stars to get the new ability. 
And uh, there is a unique mechanic over here in these crystal caverns as well. Every now and again, um, you'll get killed to the bone and create a an ice. Um, so if you make a block, you can actually use it to stand on. Over here we have the first star. And to grab it, I will actually need to even up these scales. So I'm going to slam down on this one, but I don't want it to go all the way down, so that's why I put a block underneath it. Slam that down halfway. And uh, now I'll be able to pick up the, uh, the first star for this level. The cavern over here to the left has a similar mechanic. Once again, I'll need to make a block here. Except this time I need to make uh, two blocks just so I can get up high enough. Okay, so we've gained the ability to swim. I really like swimming in this game. You can press A to swim faster, but the controls are very, very smooth. So I'm just going to swim down as far as I can. Um, over here to, is it here? No, it's a little bit further down, I think. There is a secret, a secret underwater cave with the second memento. And check out the size of the fish in the background. Hopefully you can see that. It's absolutely massive. Now this little star is a little bit frustrating. So it's quite difficult to, to catch that one. But I will catch up with it a little bit later. Down here we have this uh, strange structure. We need six stars to be able to activate it. I might as well start with the top right and just work my way around. Now uh, there's that star that we've been chasing. And it's a little bit tricky to catch, it keeps playing chasey with you. So I will need to use the, the boost for the swimming and then go into a, uh, a block there just to uh, make sure I go fast enough to get down and pick it up. Usually I don't do that first go, so I got a little bit lucky there. Okay, down to the bottom right. Uh, let's see what we have here. And just in the center there, you can see we've got the third memento. I'll need to pick that up from the top though. I can't get it from here. So for now, I'm gonna dive into the water and pick up the star first. It's a little bit hard to see where you're going uh, when it's zoomed out this far and you're underwater. Let's pick up the star and now I'm going to head down into an underwater cave. It looks like that's the end of the cave. It's not. I'm going to continue right, uh, left, sorry, and pick up the birds. Well, I guess they're fish now, aren't they? And then use them 
to get to the top of that temple. Okay, let's let's do this. No, oh, no, that disappeared. Oh, I messed that up. <laughs> okay, there we go. That shouldn't have been that difficult. Anyway, I'm going to head across. And down. Use the temple to pick up the third memento. Break the jar. Now release the birds. And that is the fourth star for this level. I still need to find another two. Before I continue over to the left, I'm going to go down first of all. Now you can't go too far down because it's pitch black down here, but just when it starts to get dark, there's a secret tunnel over to the left and you can just see this the lights over there to the left. Heading down here completes the fourth stage of grief, challenge, depression. Just by finding the statue that actually completes that, that phase of the challenge. So I'm going to head across to the bottom left now, pick up the next star. And we have another little challenge with these red, little red birds here. Let's pick them up and I need them to, need to use them to help me get up to the top. So, just going to do a... there we go. If you do a boost just before you leave the water, you do actually jump up higher. And the birds will follow you higher, so you should be able to get high enough to get up to this underwater... This, uh, sorry, uh, upside down underwater level. Let's just open up this exit from this side, pick up the birds again. And now head up the center of the tree to pick up the fifth star. Okay, so there's one more star just up here to the top left. And I kind of like this puzzle. There's water, instead of uh, being up and down, there's water to the, uh, the right side of this screen. Just gonna boost through to the other side. Do a double jump across, uh, double jump across again. Now I'm going to have to boost over to the, uh, the birds. And now just boost up and double jump to the top area. And uh, that's how you get through this water tower. Now just uh, swim all the way down. And the fifth star is just down here on the left. And then I can exit down here by breaking the, uh, the ledge. Taking a bit of a shortcut. Now let's head over to that structure and see what we unlock. We've unlocked the Turtle of Light and I'm going to follow that in the next episode. But that's all for now. Thanks for watching. See you all again soon for Gris.